Sean Lundar. And I'm Michelle Evan. Today is probably the last day of the Hunger Games this year. And we are going to be giving a quick review on what has happened so far. On the upcoming day of the Hunger Games, Candace Everdeen took her sister's place as the bravely volunteer as tribute for District 12. And the highest score from the game makers at the training center was District 12's Candace Everdeen score of 11. The lowest score was District 8's Glimmer Contact score of 3. It has been over 11 years since it was displayed from the game makers. And two years ago, when a 3 was displayed, an astonishing performance by Candace Everdeen and Fellow. District 12 tribute Peter Mellark, who scored 8, and of course all the other tributes as well. Katniss Everdeen is also known as the Girl on Fire. Peter Mellark and her were described as breathtaking, courageous, amazing, and kudos to the stylists Cinna and Portia and their team of experts. At the interviews, there was an amount of them expected, like Cato's bravery, Ruth's comedy, and especially Peter Mellock confessing his love through Katniss Everdeen. There have been reports that these star-crossed lovers are faking their love. We go to Hamish, District 12's first and only winner. Hello, Hamish. So are the rumors true? Are Peter, are Peter Mellock and Katniss Everdeen faking this romance to get more sponsors? What? Are you kidding me? There is no way that's true. Peter was so in the moment. He was like, oh my gosh, I love Kenton so much. Blech. And when Katniss realized it was her he was talking about, talk about blush. Interesting. So Hamish, what is your personal opinion on the Hunger Games? Are you kidding me? Am I allowed to say my true opinion? Because I think we all know what a Hunger Games winner would say about this catastrophe called games. Come on, it's okay to say what you feel. I doubt any game makers are watching this program. They are high class citizens of the capital. They only watch the pay-per-view programs. <laughs> well, I guess I personally think that the Hunger Games are a complete waste of money, technology, and lives. I know this is to remind us of what could happen if we could rebel. We, you know with what happened to District 13 and all, but do we have to kill our children? There's only one survivor, and this is the first year of two possible winners. If I went back to the Hunger Games, I'd... <laughs> I guess someone like him had to, had to go. <laughs> oh, we'll be right back with this.